Hear ye, hear ye, ladies and gentlemen. Today's a very special day because TF2 Summer Update Sound. Wow! I, there, there's some pretty neat stuff in here. Um, I'm not gonna like do. A, I'm not gonna like start wailing on any cases or anything. Uh, to be honest, I think this cosmetic case is not bad, but nothing I would really want. So I'm not really gonna get that. Plus the whole boycott thing. I'm not gonna go on a whole spiel about that we're just gonna have some fun tonight but uh if you don't want to participate in a boycott that's fine but i highly encourage it because even though things are good right now who's to say valve's not gonna drop it next week you know i'd say boycott until we see some consistency in how valve treats this game how long that takes i don't know that's really it's it's so subjective it's up to you it could be a month it could be a week two months a year who knows anyways fuck all that let's just play the cool new um you know st uh, new stuff i really want to see if these maps are actually up to snuff because because uh, i don't know so far it looks pretty nice though i like i like it very pretty looking map wait no i was gonna dance oh oh well uh, m my biggest problem with medieval mode like the group keep is they're just so short like the rounds are so gosh darn short you know, it's like, uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I get that, like, restricting it to a melee, you don't need a crazy long match, but, um, it just seems extremely short. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> I wonder, I really wonder if I just whip this bad bitch out, I wonder, I wonder if that's gonna really perform. Beautiful. <laughs> Wait, I don't have a gun. Oh, Spike! Have a gun! I like this map so far. It's actually pretty nice. It's, uh, I, I think I'd actually rather play this uh, to the group keep. As as blasphemous as that might be, I think I actually prefer this. It's a. It seems. It seems larger. I don't know if it actually is. It just seems slightly larger, which I I like that a little more. Come here. Yeah. Yeah, I butter knife to you. What of it? No here, boys. Oh, sweet. Another one. Awesome. We got another another stage. That's awesome. Fuck yeah. It, it's a, it's a, this it just looks better. I like this. I like the theming. It's kinda Obviously it's it's the group keepish. It's it's uh what's that place called? Uh Rottenberg, it's very Rottenberg esque. So the spy TF2 goes to the doctor to uh, see if he can do anything about the about about his smoking problems. And he goes to the doctor's office. He sits and waits for I don't know, 25 to 30 minutes maybe. Anyways, he gets called into the room, and then the doctor says, uh, "So what 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 can I do you for today, uh, Mister the Spy?" Um, and and the spy says, oh, 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 "I do smoke a lot, huh?" Oh. And, uh, and, and it's good to being a very problem, yes. I can't, I can't do a French accent, but whatever. That's what spy sounds like. And, um, and, and, uh, and the doctor says, All right, all right, all right. I, I, I see what the problem is. Open up and say, oink. And, and, and spy says, what the fuck? And then the doctor says, Well, Mr. The Spy, I have reason to believe that, uh, this, this, this smoking addiction of yours is... Most likely worsened by this is this oral fixation. And the spy says, What? I'm not gay. What are you implying? Oh, oh, oh. Alright, alright, cool. I was fucking behind him. You all saw that. Definitely saw me. Ooh. Yeah, how's that? How's that feel, bucko? But that's not very cool, was it? Cool for me, but not for you. You suck. And I'm better than you. For now. Despite the fact that we are amidst a boycott, I am extremely disappointed that there's not a war paint case. Because there are some absolutely fantastic war paints on like on the on the workshop that would just be amazing to see in game. That was so fucking dumb. I, I lost brain cells from that. Just some more war paints would be kind of nice. Preferably good ones. I, I ideally one day, uh, I will get my beloved 
Barn Burner Mark II. Because uh, if I can get Barn Burner on, on anything, it, it's it's over. It's fucking over. All of my weapons will be Barn Burner. Because it, it, I, I think Barn Burner is just genuinely my favorite. And it's not a war paint, but fuck you. It's it's in the same family. My favorite decorated weapon. It's, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I would love to see it on like a degreaser. I think it would look kind of cool maybe on the rocket launcher. Really anything it would look nice on, honestly. Because it's just such a tastefully made, well done skin. It's it's just an mm, mm, the gorgeous accentuation of the the red and the blue, both like perfectly brought out by that yellow. I mean, oh, it is just it is just absolutely gorgeous. And it, it's 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 by far my favorite uh, decorated weapon. I mean, look at that that shade of red is just beautiful. Didn't want you to turn blue anyways. More on like the actual like I want to talk a bit more about this update. The thing that I'm the most hyped for is that the Gas Passer and Neon Annihilator actually got buffed. Which is kind of cool. I don't know how, like to the degree they got buffed, but they, they did get buffed, which is pretty cool. But like before when you douse someone in gas with the Gas Passer, it didn't count them as wet with the Neon Annihilator. But now it does. So I believe that Pyro Shark is going to become a lot more fun and a lot more viable. What would be awesome is if uh, if they could somehow make a couple tweaks to the gas passer to make it like be able to be used more often and not take a full minute every single time. Because because I mean that's crazy and also not it not being able to refill it with the uh, one of these. Or, or do it with uh, like ammo packs and shit. It's it's just kind of annoying how long it takes. And it, it I think if it took a little bit less time, because let's be honest, it's not that strong of an effect. If it if it was a little more frequent, uh, I don't think it would really throw the game out of out of whack. Hey, all right, new map. What do we got? Odyssey. Obviously, we got a bit of a. I was gonna say obviously, but I really don't know if it's Greek or Roman. I'm pretty sure it's Greek. Got some Greek influence. I'm just, I'm so sorry if 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 any if like there's any anyone who's not me that knows the difference between Greek and Roman shit. You're probably shitting your pants and throwing up right now. And I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not like everyone else. Okay. I don't care that much about ancient civilization. You know I'm different. But at the end of the day, that doesn't make me different. You know. I'm sorry, that was so fucking painful. Uh, that probably won't make it in. Honestly, I'd be shocked if that shit made it in. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Dude. There is just something beautiful about someone hitting you with like a, a, a rocket or, or like a sticky or a pipe or something. And, and it just like shoots you towards them or like their teammate or something. God, it's beautiful. It's like, dude, you're so fucking... St I'm smarter. I'm outplaying them because my brain is bigger. Okay, I don't know if this is a problem with the map or, or just we have a rock solid defense, but um, we are fucking blue team so hard right now. It is, it is, it is just not even fair. Like, can we maybe just let them try? Like, can we give them a chance maybe just a little bit? I feel bad. Like, I kind of just want to let them get a little bit ahead, you know? Okay, it looks like they're actually somewhat kind of leaving spot. Sort of. Obviously not for very long. Also, I saw you somewhere. I'll, I'll let you live. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll let you live. Like, uh... Never mind. I was, I was gonna make an Inglorious Bastards reference, but I can't remember anyone's name. It's, uh, it's the very first scene in the movie. You know what I'm talking about when, uh, General Hans Landa lets Shoshana go. That's, that's what that was like when I let that one spy get away. It's not because I lost him. It was out of intimidation. Alright, yeah, this map looks neat. It's kind of sort of the exact same thing, uh, over and over again, but it's at least the exact same thing that's copied and pasted looks cool. <laughs> you know, it's, uh... Like, and maybe that's that's how the architecture was. Maybe, maybe that's... It was all the exact same thing every time. 
I doubt it, but maybe. Maybe that's the truth. Look, I know, I know some people will call me toxic for it, but I think it is absolutely hysterical to call people monkeys. And and don't and don't take that out of context. Don't don't twist my words in a way it does that's they're not meant to be said. You know, I said what I said, but I mean it in the most wholesome way possible. I like calling people monkeys. I think it's just kind of funny because because I like I like monkeys. I think monkeys are cute and funny. And I think uh, I think, you know. It, it's cute and funny, but it's also an incredibly powerful insult to call someone a monkey. You know, like a, like a pyro monkey, an uber monkey, a, a freaking uber fucking heavy monkey, you know? It's just like, get out of here, you fucking uber monkey. You know, it just, it just has some, it just has some, some, some guttural, gutturalness to it. You know what I mean? You know, th there's, there's a lot of monkeys out there, you know? You've got Capuchin, um... I think that's it. I think that's the only kind of monkey, actually. Never mind. I think, I think there's... Where the f the freaking heck am I? Oh, God. I should not have taken this teleporter. I'm calling it right now. I should not. I'll follow the rails until I do find their spawn. Because in which then they're, they're just absolute toast. Alright, you know what? That getting lost, it was all worth it. Because of that. Wow. You see, that that kill right there on that soldier was, was part of why I find heavy fun. You know, maybe it's just because um, I haven't played heavy for 10 full years um but i i just find it kind of cool uh to the, like the kind of tracking that you have to do is heavy it's just different uh, from from the other classes it's, it's just cool and that's uh, i i just like uh, the, the the different kinds of skills you have to learn and stuff it's and it's nice to line up that perfect tracking shot you know it's just it's just beautiful one of those moments that really makes a man shed a tear and come in his pants. You know, I'll, I'll just sit on top of the bike like E.T. real quick. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> Goober. Wait, is it a friggin... Oh, I see. That's cool. That's that... Okay, that is actually dope as fuck. That is dope as fuck. Okay. Oh my god. Wow. That is the type of shit that you want to see at the fucking end of a game. That's what makes that shit worth it. Oh my god. So let's play Embargo. I, this is so cool. I don't know who this woman is. It's like she's got like multiple personality disorder or something. She keeps like swapping in, in and out between voices. It's very strange. I love when, like, pyros think that they can outsmart me, but little do they know I am a pyro, so, you know, I, I, I know who they are, I know what they do, I know how they think. The water is, mm, beautiful, just, just what I love. This is exactly what I need after a long day of killing people. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, I, I, I don't want to make this too political, but, um, Overwatch. Alright, I'm, I'm, th you might see some Overwatch on this channel soon. Again, I, I can't help but, you know, try to just, I, I, I can't help but talk about it, because it, it, it is genuinely a game I loved so much. A game that meant so much to me before, and it, it, it genuinely hurts me like how how far it's fallen what better evidence of that than uh the new hero i forgot her name already but uh yeah she's a freaking support of course who guess what has aoe healing abilities yay love it love it like we all love aoe healing in overwatch okay obviously there are a lot of factors that led to overwatch becoming a fucking piece of shit game but i've sat and thought and i've you know, heard opinions from others who, who were more involved in the actual, like, observation of the game. Like, like when I was, like, when I played Overwatch, I didn't follow patch notes. I didn't really bother with, you know, keeping up with all that shit. I just played the game. 
So I didn't really follow metas or anything like that. I just played whatever the fuck I wanted. So I was never aware of anything like goats or any any of the other weird metas. So all that's all that is new to me. But um, I'm starting to put the pieces together of of one of the reasons, at least in my opinion, why Overwatch is starting to f like like not is but like what really led to that downfall and. Obviously, the answer is adding more heroes. I think that's the, the obvious biggest issue. Uh, they just should not have added more characters, or at least added a as many more characters. Um, because, I don't know, I just feel like the original roster was fine. It, it would have been fun. I, I, you know, of course, the TF2 guy, that's me. Hey, I, I think loadouts would have been better, or even you know, just customizable skills. I think that would have been, I would have gone way better. You know, if they have an idea for skill or something, they don't have to make a whole new character. I just don't really agree with that type of, like, I, progression, I guess? Like, like just natural progression of the game. I, I just don't, I, I don't really agree with that. I, I don't like the idea of adding a bunch of, a bunch of characters. You know, again, from the TF2 guy, I just much prefer a, a very solid customizable roster it's just a cast that is i'm explaining this so poorly but you know what i'm talking about tf2's characters are cool i don't know man it's just like i'm it's just like so disappointing to me because overwatch was so ridiculously fun and i just i wish it still was um i i, I think another issue that that plagued overwatch this, this this may be a very normy take. This may be very surface level, but I feel like Jeff Kaplan was very much the soul of Overwatch. Yeah, or at least that's that's the impression that I get. Because as soon as he left, maybe a little before then, but things really went downhill. At least from what I've noticed, shit has gone fucking south without Jeff. And I I I, I really do. Um, assuming he wasn't involved in any of the gross, yucky, bad stuff from Blizzard, I I I do miss him. Um, you know, on just, on just the level of, you know, he, he, he kind of is what made the game good. And the problem is, right, is I don't think Overwatch can be fixed. Like, I don't think it's possible without just deleting the characters. Which can't be done, obviously, because people pump money into this. Sh especially now that they've got this ridiculous ridiculously predatory awful way of getting skins now it is fucking baffling that i miss loot boxes like like with loot boxes that shit was free you know i could just it made an incentive to play the game you know play the game level up and then you get a loot box for every level and and you know what it's such a fantastic system at least to me I got nearly every skin that I wanted, legendary to freaking blue. I, I don't remember what that's called. Legendary to blue, all right? I had basically whatever skin I wanted. I didn't have every skin, but I had the ones that I wanted. And I didn't I didn't spend a single penny. I just played the game and had fun, and I earned the things that I wanted. Uh, but god damn it, it just doesn't work like that anymore. It's it's so stupid. I hate it. And, and, and people will defend this shitty new model by like, oh, it's it's free. You know, they have to make their money somehow. Yeah, why? Don't make it free then. Just make it a played game. Just make it a paid game. I I'd rather just shell another 60 bucks for Overwatch if I get a, a, a like an enjoyable, fucking playable experience that doesn't feel like she's gratering my fucking balls. Overwatch 2 is painful. It is. It's not fun. You know, I've been I've been really rambling on and on about Overwatch. I want to like actually just completely tackle that in a separate video. As I'm walking around, this map is very pretty. I like this. Applejack is also my favorite pony too. I don't, I don't, I don't watch My Little Pony. I don't really know any of the ponies. I just, I, I, I know Applejack. Um, so I, I, I think by default that makes her my favorite. And also, who, who doesn't love a good old country pony? You know. You know what? Fuck it. This video, I'm, I'm just gonna dump some of the opinions that I'm not willing to make into full videos. Uh, Smiling Friends season two. Fucking Italiano Primo baby. That shit even like like significantly better than season one and i didn't even know that was possible because smiling friends season one is like nearly perfect I, I'm not not fully perfect but nearly perfect 
and and season two just just ups that so much for me i it is especially as as a, an avid enjoyer of oni plays in some just overall internet shit if you if you know just i guess even like basic stuff so many of the jokes are just elevated like i think my favorite episode like i don't want to spoil it too much but when uh the, the doug walker cameo i'll admit it all right i i, I saw jack all right I, I i did a whole i pointed at my screen and i was like oh my god it's it's doug walker holy shit i i, I paused it I paused it and I was like, oh my god, that's Doug Walker. That's the nostalgia critic. They got the nostalgia. That, 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 that was basically verbatim what that was that night. It was awesome. You know, I was, I was, it was after a long, a long day at work. It was like 14 hours in the mines. You know, I was getting fucking shit on by my boss all day. It was, it was rough. So to, to come home to the, to the funniest episode of Smiling Friends uh, to that point. Uh, was was very nice and of course fucking was there like para or some shit the, the 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 big i feel fantastic mannequin making a, a grand cameo as well i thought that was that was just so funny just that that episode in general is, is just and of course oh my god that beautiful shot of of pim and charlie walking down that hallway oh my god it's just absolute fucking art Obviously, the whole show is, but like that, that especially is just, oh my god. Masterfully. Like, like, the animation in season two is even better than season one. It is, they I really fucking upped it. And also, the Joel Haver cameo is, is awesome too. Oh god, it is just, there's so much to love about Smelling Friends season two. And there's just so much to love about Smiling Friends, period. You know, not nothing else to say there. It's just such a great show. I'm honestly, I have no clue what I'm supposed to be doing. I see a lot of people using the gas passer now. Uh, I, but I think the only buff is with the Neon Annihilator, so I don't really know unless he's doing the gas passer contract. Fuck yeah, that's the medic difference, baby. Oh yeah. Alright, well with that crushing victory. I think I'm going to end this one here. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a like and subscribe on the channel, baby. Hell yeah. Uh, if, you, if you got any 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 shit to talk or any cool things to say, just, uh, be sure to put that down in the comments and stuff. Uh, yeah. See ya.